Tai Ninja News or CNN for short with your host, Tai Ninja. Okay, welcome to Tai Ninja News or CNN for short. And don't forget, I'm your host, Caillou, and welcome back to my to Caillou Ninja News, aka the basement. And it's kind of chewy here. Just tell me. Okay, in the news, I gotta be part of a kid virtual town hall of Congresswoman Hayes. I know, pretty big deal, right everybody? And she is my Congresswoman. I live in the 5th district. She is the first African American to represent Connecticut. And she is also a teacher. So, so she knows all about school. And she was so good at, at the 2016 she was the National Teacher of the Year! I know, pretty sweet, huh? Now she works representing our forces in Washington. So I ask her a question about what she is doing to help kids with autism in homeschool. Whoa, that quit, Mom, okay? Our next question is from Kai Ninja. <laughs> yes. Hi, can you tell us uh, what school you go to and your age and then ask your question? Hi, my name is Caillou. I am eight years old and I am from Danbury and I am from third grade. Congresswoman Hayes, I got something to tell you. I have autism. What? Homeschool is hard, a little hard. What, what are you doing to help kids like me? Wow, Kai, thank you so much for that question. Oh, and you're welcome. When our schools first shut down, I was very concerned because as you know, I'm a teacher and I've had students who have autism and I know how important their routine was to them. I know how important their interaction with their peers was and not just autistic students, but what I realized is that we didn't have a plan. And many of our students who had any kind of special needs were now mm -hmm sent home and said to turn on your computer. But even students who don't have special needs, not everybody learns in the same way. And there's so much more that happens at school outside of just the lesson. Caillou, this book is about, it's by um, Sonia Sotomayor, she's the uh, Supreme Court Justice. And it's about all of these kids with different abilities and disabilities. And they're planting this garden and everybody plants something for the garden. Um, excuse me? Yeah? Guess what book that I'm going to show you? Let me see. Oh, ah! <laughs> yes. The other one. It's okay to be different. Yes, absolutely. So I did and that book when I was a baby. I and that's just it. it. From the time when you're a baby, you have to read books from all different authors. So thank you for giving me some time today, and. I appreciate you so, oh, right back at you. I see you. <laughs> right back at you, Caillou. Maybe that's how we can close. Let's, let's send some love out to everyone who's watching. Thank you, Congresswoman Hayes. This was so cool. Thank you. Oh, oh sorry, folks. Okay, in other news. So, Governor Ramont now is basically open, opening, oh, I don't know, everything, shops, stores, bounce, bounce, and frills, everything on June 17th. But there's still lots of rules. Here is my take. I get it. But, hey, people, don't forget to wash your hands and wear a mask, people, for the love of God. I have... Primary ciliary dyskinesia. My lungs have a hard time finding infections. There's millions of people like me in the United States that have rare conditions. So we have to be extra careful. And please remember, your mask protects me and my mask protects you. Just because stuff is open doesn't mean the pandemic is over, okay? Now let's widen things up with some old snipe. And this joke is gonna be extra funny, okay? So widen things up, okay? 
What did the bee say to the flower? Hello, honey! <laughs> this is the end of the show, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash c slash slash Ninja. Bye-bye now and see you in the next week's episode.